Welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this week's Bob Blast is what if you want to paint a large painting and you don't have a studio to hold the large painting? Well, it's pretty obvious. Obvious answer anyway is you you break the painting down into many sections, many canvases, or you can go outside. But if you don't go outside, if you live in one of those places where it's too cold to paint, you build up your painting using modular sections, almost like the David Hockney painting of the Grand Canyon. He did it in 64 canvases. Put them all together, it's fantastic. It's bigger than the entire room almost. So here's a painting I'm working on right now. It's a large canvas, 40 inches by 60 inches, and I wanted to make it larger. So you would add another canvas to it. Just like that. There you go. Now this is based on my color wheel. Mostly dominant is blue, the focal point, pretty obvious here. And the two spice colors will be the violet and the yellow, right from my color wheel. But what I'm doing now is, this is the first coat of acrylic painting. Now for, for fun, I like to draw back into it. Last week on the Bob Blast, I did charcoal. This week, I'm using pastel, drawing back into the already dried painting to make sure that it's dried, okay? And now I just like to draw back into it because that's just what I'm doing right now. And pushing it a little further than just acrylic paint. Here's the best part. If you don't like what you're doing, you can always wipe it out and you haven't ruined the painting underneath it. But right now, I'm just working on the different blues, working on both at the same time so it looks like one whole unit is what you want to do here. And so you don't want them to be too obvious that it's two separate paintings stuck together. So I'm using it, putting them together, and painting them together here at this particular place. There we go, pastels, just pastels. And I use different kinds, the bigger the better. You know, look at the, for the best. You know, we all know the best ones, Jack Richardson's, there's uh, Soho from Jerry's, uh, and, um, oh, I'm like, I got, oh, don't forget the Jack Richardson's. Yes, I mentioned them already. They're pretty good, too. Great. Well, what you want to find in a pastel is one that has a lot of pigment in it. That's the whole idea. So the cheaper ones may not have so much pigment in it. So the more pigment, the better. So again, when you have two paintings together, now it's a diptych. If I add a third painting to this to make it a much larger painting, it would be called a triptych. We know this stuff. But did you know what more than three panels is called? Polyptic. That'll fool your friends. Polyptic. Any more than three panels, it'd be so, uh, I would say the David Hockney painting of the Grand Canyon is a polyptic. 64 canvases. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks again. Sign up for my newsletter, uh, my Bob Blast rather. And also, I have some workshops coming up. Let me tell you about them. And just a reminder, again, I have two workshops coming up, one here in uh, Sedona Arts Center. Uh, it's next month, May 23rd, 27th here, and July the 18th, I'm going to Cloudcroft, New Mexico. It's about 8,000 feet in the air. It's a spectacular place to go paint. Hope you can join me. Go to my website right there and get more details. Talk to you later.